Welcome to Make It Happen Monday. Today I'm going to give you some great tips for boosting your fiber intake. First of all, I want you to know why this is so valuable, right? Why this is such valuable information, and that is that fiber, you could easily argue, is the most vital, the most important of all essential nutrients. That being said, unfortunately, this is where Americans in terms of nutrient intake are, are arguably most off track. I mean, horribly off track. So the, we, know, we know for optimal health, a woman needs at least 27 grams a day, yet the average woman in America gets like 15 to 17. We know that men need at least 37 grams a day and the average man gets about 20, maybe 21, 22. All right, so lots of work to do there. Why is fiber so important as this essential nutrient? Well, it's garnered this huge glowing list of health accolades, everything from longevity to heart health to weight control to cancer protection, but where it shines most brilliantly to the point that it's blinding us is that fiber is the only thing that can feed the good bacteria in your gut, better known as the microbiome, which if you don't know it, don't forget this, we now know that your microbiome is defines your health destiny. It is your most valuable partner for health and healing. So you want to really be focusing. And I got to share this. If you're not currently following my good friend, Dr. Will, better known as the Gut Health MD, you want to start following him on Instagram, go listen to his podcast. It, he is so brilliant and he gets it and he's so funny and he's entertaining and you're gonna, you're gonna learn a lot and it can change your life by listening to my friend, Dr. Will, the Gut Health MD. All right, back to tips for boosting your fiber intake. First of all, know that fiber, the only place you can get fiber is plant-based foods. So boost up your intake of fruits and vegetables. All of them have fiber, but there's certain ones that are really kind of off the charts for it. And I call them the fiber superstars and they are Zoe. <laughs> okay, we've got berries, raspberries is number one, snow peas, apples, canned tomato products, pumpkin, cauliflower, avocado, spinach, asparagus, broccoli, carrots, Brussels sprouts, sweet potato, okra, my favorite, and winter squash. Yes, absolutely. So fruits and vegetables. The second thing is eat more beans. Measure for measure, beans have more fiber than any other food group. And to give you a feel for this, in relative to the other two great sources, which are whole grains and fruits and vegetables, beans average three to four times more per unit serving. Pretty incredible there, right? Any bean you want, they're all just exploding with fiber. Eat more beans. The next one is enjoy um, more physically intact whole grains like brown rice and oatmeal and barley and quinoa and farro, and there's others. And the reason why you want to do those physically intact whole grains relative to like the refined ones like white rice and other kind of refined grains is because the refined grains have all their fiber stripped out, right? Uh, breakfast cereals. If you're a breakfast cereal eater, and a lot of people are, it's, that's awesome. Uh, then make sure when you're selecting your breakfast cereal, you're going to select one that has at least five grams of fiber per serving. And you can now find at least 30 delicious cereals on the grocery aisle, breakfast cereals, that have that much fiber or more per unit serving. So a minimum of five grams for adults, three for kids, maybe three is enough. Uh, but more would be better. Next up would be uh, whole grain bread products. So anytime you are choosing any flour-based stuff, you want bread, you want bagels, you want crackers, you know, you want any kind of thing made from flour, well make sure it is 100% whole grain. There's no excuse because you can now get every single bread-based product you want. Pizza uh, crust, you know, again, bagels, sandwich wraps, um, uh, sandwich thins, all kind of everything, bread, everything, in 100% whole grain or 100% whole wheat version. So no excuses with that one. Let's see. Um, when you're choosing your pasta, go for multi-grain 
like Barilla Plus, there's other brands, or bean-based pastas, or if you like it, 100% whole wheat uh, pastas, instead of traditional white pasta, those, those, these, these healthier pastas are del absolutely delicious. Barilla, you know, Barilla Plus, these multigrain pastas are indistinguishable, even from a you know, discriminating kid, from white pasta. So that's a great one to do. Zoe, did I leave any out? I think you I got, got them all. How about that? See, that's what happens. I, I did my morning exercise. My brain's firing good today. So please, please, please know how vitally important fiber is, mainly because of the microbiome, and those tips can help you reach your daily quota goals. All right, thank you.